Our top story tonight, there's a new surge of COVID-19 cases in our region, and it is impacting schools just weeks now into the semester. A lot of kids yeah. over in Sevier County, the school district is reporting 93 active cases just one week into the school year. And on top of that, there are 385 students and staff members in quarantine. WAT6 on your side reporter Lexi Spivak spoke with the assistant superintendent to see what the plans now look like moving forward. Lexi. Yeah, so Bo and Lori, that school official tells me they knew there would be COVID-19 cases this year, especially since there are 14,000 students in that district. Tony Ogle says that even though that's the case, they do see that the biggest challenge this year will be keeping those numbers low. While some may find the numbers a bit jarring, the assistant superintendent of Sevier County Schools reminds parents not all of these cases stem from inside their classrooms. A lot of the positives that we've got and the quarantines we've got are ones the parents have self-reported to us because on the first day of school they called and said my child is positive. So most of what we've got right now is coming into school from summer. Tony Ogle says they plan to keep monitoring case numbers in each school and throughout the community. Something they don't plan to do is add a mask mandate. The governor's recent order that allowed an exemption for parents, we feel like that probably it, trying to initiate a mask mandate at this point wouldn't really be practical because there'll be a lot of folks that will opt out. Right now, they recommend masking up when social distancing isn't possible. They also say they'll keep on top of contact tracing. The nurse or an administrator in that building sits down and looks at seating charts in that classroom, looks at if that child plays a sport or is in an extracurricular activity. Ogle says that takes a couple of hours. They're in school and they're they're loving it. They love school. Brian McCarter is the vice mayor of Sevier County and also has kids in the district. He says for his family, it was about starting the school year with flexibility in mind. Just walking into school with those expectations um, has just made it a lot easier knowing that, uh, you know, if something happens, we're, we're going to try to roll the punches as best we can. And finally, he says it's about trust. They're doing everything that they feel they need to do in order to, to keep the environment as safe as possible. It's reassuring as a parent. We want our kids in school. All right, now we're going to stay on top of the Sevier County Schools dashboard numbers, of course. I also want to remind parents, though, that there is COVID-19 testing available at Sevier County Schools for those students with your consent.